about the meaning of life, and I, I said to read the meaning of, of the object is particular aspect, but you said that some people didn't need others to complete them. And of course, we didn't say that it was uh, or needed to everyone as a soulmate. We didn't say that there was only one soulmate, Samantha, so we don't need to meet everyone of the 7 billion people in the world to find your soulmate. So I, 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 don't, I don't think you're really getting our points. I don't believe the are usually more objective, more rational people. Uh, can you think about, uh, for example, scientists and those great minds? They never pretended to have someone that completed them. Then you think about normal people, like uh, our parents and such. Okay, not my parents, but some people that learn to write along us. And you see that they don't believe in that. So I think um, believing in a soulmate is a sign of how to write this. It's uh, lying to yourself and believing in something that doesn't exist. Uh, we don't know. That's, that's all the, the bottom of the human interaction, every kind of human interaction. So we actually don't know. We just, it's in our core, skin, under our skin. Yes. That's what I want. Uh, so not everyone can have a happy ending, you know. And for all uh, scientists can't love. That's what oh, we say. Have you talked to one, for example? You know, it's not only one you can. You would have to talk to all of them, you know, as someone said, to know if there are one. I mean, I just want to start by saying that both your and your comments were absolutely offensive. I mean, in the sense, in the sense that yours was ridiculous and yours was even more ridiculous. But you can't quantify things like love. But I think. As uh, regarding soulmates, uh, I think maybe not uh, everyone will find their soulmate because yes, I think I really agree it's hard to find. But the, that doesn't mean you have to find a soulmate. I mean, you're basically saying that oh, we, because not all of uh, not everyone in the world of a soulmate in paper is something very very pretty. It's like the meaning of life. You think about it and you think and you say. Oh, the meaning of life, I want to be happy, I want to do this, I want to do that, uh, whatever. Well, in reality, I think that a soulmate really is something we don't see a lot. I mean, you say that there are a lot of people in relations that think they have soulmates, but you go on, I don't know, Facebook or social, social media, and you see everyone talking about all of their friends as a soulmate, and in a few years' time they already don't even talk to each other. The same thing happens with relationships. Uh, people, I don't know, get married and a few years later they get tired of each other and they separate. I mean, I think the definition, the, the creation of the ideal of the third was only to make some people have a, have a point in life, have something they want to achieve, something they want to pursue. In this case, they want to find a soulmate. Well, uh, uh, some people turn to religion and yeah, exactly. Turn to... So you know, you uh, I was saying that you, you, you on that part you don't believe in soulmates <laughs> because you are, you are creating other concept of a soulmate just to just to mark your point, but yes, you don't you believe in a soulmate. A soulmate for us is half a part of a person. Is someone that knows us, that uh, that cares about us and. Uh, pre uh, perfectly fits us, and you are just creating other conception of soulmate, just to say there is there is a soulmate, but there is there, there is no soulmate because we are not perfect and we cannot fit perfectly with anyone. Oh, okay. So, uh, is, is there just a person? Because my uh, my perspective of the soulmate is not a person. It's like uh, it's like a group of persons that have some qualities that uh, that can fit me because I don't believe I can only fit with the one uh, I love. I can fit with lots of people because uh, today I can love one, someone and 
in many years I can love another person. And then so, I So you, you are constantly creating soulmates? No, because okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, for the three of you talked uh, the first one you said again, I mean definition, definition, I mean you first talk about the meaning of life. Oh, the definition of meaning of life. There's a meaning of the life to you. You have a meaning of your life. No, I have a meaning to my life. Life is a myth, exactly like this whole thing. It's two things that the human being creates so that they can have. How is it a, a myth? You can have objectives and you can have things that you would achieve, and that's the meaning to your life. You have to have a meaning to your life because that's uh, applies to have objectives and something to do to your future, to your future. And then Peter said that you, that there isn't a. Uh, I don't, how am I going to say? The uh, builder said that you can fit someone. I think that was what you said. Yes. I mean, that, that's ridiculous because uh, think about friends. I mean, don't you believe in the definition of friends too? Because friends are someone that you get along with friends, but if it's a true friend, I mean, you, in some sense, you complete each other.